With races like the America's Cup and Transat here in Plymouth, we've become accustomed to staging international yachting events. But come October, we'll have a new race to add to our diary. The first ever women-only transatlantic sailing race. It may be eight months before the race starts, but already it's generated interest from women sailors from around the world. Former Plymouth University student Sammy Evans from Torquay will be sailing with her teammate under the name Team Bodacious. Women in sailing, there's, we're few and far between and there's so many races out there that it gets quite diluted that you might get one or two entries and it's very rare we get to compete against each other. The race will start in Plymouth and the yachts, which will each have two women on board, will race the 3,300 mile crossing to Falmouth Harbour in Antigua. Sammy Evans's former lecturer in nautical studies says it'll be an unenviable crossing. I've actually been across the Atlantic quite a few times. I used to drive container ships and things like that, but I've never been across the Atlantic in anything less than 55,000 tonnes, and I prefer to keep it that way. It's very, very challenging sailing across an ocean. And already Sammy's ambitions are inspiring other women sailors. It's so good to like, hear something about a female sailor for a change. Everything it's normal. She's about. only a few years above us as well. She graduated two or three years ago, I think, so it's nice, uh, it's nice to know that that's where you can go if you want to do it. The boat set off from Plymouth Sound on October 28th. Each boat will be the same design, making it a level playing field. And while on board, crews will be asked by the National Marine Aquarium to test the water for pollution and record marine mammal sightings. It's not yet known how many boats will take part, but organisers hope, if successful, to hold this race every other year. Claire Manning for the West Country Tonight.